Hey, welcome to today's vlog. It is the start of a new week. It is my second week and not gonna lie, we are off to a pretty rough start. If you can't tell, I am coming down with what might be a cold and this is just really inconvenient timing because I literally just started school. Again, I have a lot of things that I have to keep doing and so I'm just gonna try to make it work. But yeah, not fun. If you're new, I'm Georgia K. I am now a second year history PhD student at Brown University and I'm Make these week in my life vlogs um i'm really interested to see how this week will go because i'm hoping that i get better and not more sick but we'll see I mean, overall, very good. My class went well, um, TA class went well. It's just that I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. And then I was like, you know what? I really should have just called out today. I think this is an important lesson. It's so hard for me to decide what warrants taking time off, especially since I'm like, we just got back. It's inconvenient for me to be sick. It's inconvenient for me to take the day off because like, we just got back. Even talking now, my throat feels like it's on fire um but yeah and so i was just in class and i was like i really should have just taken the time off i wore a mask and everything but i don't know why i didn't i don't know why i didn't i should have and i don't even know if i'll take tomorrow off to be honest um but yeah it was just a little bit rough it was raining it was gross i don't want to complain too much but yeah today just to be honest today was not the funnest in terms of just like how i felt i do hope that i feel better in like the next few days just because i do want to i don't want to get behind on work but i understand that your body doesn't really care about your work schedule and so i'm making my peace with that um but yeah i feel like i'm going against sort of like the toxic work culture i'm always like take time off do the things also if you can hear a noise in the background i'm making a dinner in the air fryer um but i'm always like i feel like in my head i'm like always saying like work life balance all of these things but when it comes to the test like i really realize i do not take that time off when i need to and so I'm gonna try to make up for that a little bit. I am gonna have some dinner and not do any more work for the night. Um, it is 5.30, very dark for 5.30, but yeah, 5.30, and I'm just gonna watch How I Met Your Mother for the rest of the night. Okay, so it's been a while later since I have spoken to the vlog, but today I actually got up and went to classes. Uh, I think the last time I spoke, I was essentially saying that I was sick, and so I was sick for a few days, and I took those days off. I essentially just tried to rest. I still had readings to do, all that stuff, but I just decided not to like go to class that one day. Um, I'm still like a little bit congested, but I feel mostly better. Like I feel like my normal self again. And so I went to class today. I had a full day. I didn't really get to vlog much. I like vlogged a few clips here and there but it was a really busy one but yeah it was a really busy one but overall i'm happy that i went to class today because honestly that's why i like was trying to run away from is not getting lost to the beginning of the semester but something i actually wanted to talk about was i was thinking about this as i was walking back i walked back here and took harley out did all my normal stuff but i was just thinking about how out of depth i feel in this class that i'm in and it's not even like i don't understand the materials we're talking about themes that are pretty similar to my research in terms of like race 
and um, sort of like ethnicity and capitalism and labor and things like that. The main issue for me is that it's set in a much earlier time frame. Like we're doing sort of like focusing on Atlantic history. And so I just feel like, I don't know why, I just feel so nervous to talk in that class, which is so strange because honestly, if you ask anyone, I participate a lot, a lot in my classes and that's usually not an issue for me. And I don't know why, I don't know why, but I feel like even especially today, we talked about this book called Slavery and Capitalism. We talk about this book called Slavery and Capitalism and I just felt like my opinions were so different than everyone else in the classes. And so I was like, am I missing something? I don't know, but I think I'm gonna go to the office hours, talk to the professor about it, trying to get a deeper understanding because obviously this is not my field like studying race is literally like, like one of the themes that I study but I don't really study Atlantic history I study 20th century history which I mean obviously there's it's important to understand Atlantic history because you need to understand sort of the chronology and what's happening and what's building and that's why I'm taking this class but it's like I understand sort of like a lot of the modern context and so there's like social political context for some of the books that I'm reading that I'm like I feel like I'm missing something here and so just putting that out there because I feel like when it comes to history we all have our own subfields and I feel like it's so important to branch out of your subfield but also to sort of admit that like historians we aren't historians of everything we're historians of typically especially if you're a PhD student historians of a very specific topic or a very specific subfield and so I'm giving myself permission to be like, I don't need to know everything from this field because I just genuinely don't. And so the side effect of that, that I haven't been talking as much, is that I've been listening a lot and been hearing my classmates. Honestly, amazing insights into this field that I am not as familiar or as well read in. And that has been really, really powerful. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So no one else can make you do That's why I'm fine, I'm my love for you I wanna please you in any way I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand? So I'm back home now. I just took Harley to the vet this morning. She had a slight ear infection that I wanted to get checked out. And so we went there pretty much the first thing in the morning. I mean, I got some delivery um, for my groceries, did that. Um, but yeah, I took her out. And then honestly, I've been back doing work at my computer for a few hours, but now I'm about to take her on a walk. The plan for today is that I have a museum. The plan for today is that I am going to see an exhibit on campus with one of my friends. And so I'm really looking forward to that. But that's at four and so until then I just I finished my reading for today and I'm gonna take Harley on a walk and then I think I might work on some stuff for my TA club. So after being sick all week it honestly was so nice to just be able to walk with my dog and be in nature again and just honestly just sit and reflect even though early in this vlog I was mentioning that I feel like I don't really have a good work-life balance especially deciding when to take time off. I really do try to find slow moments in my life as a PhD students i know the stereotype is that we're always going we're always moving and while i'm not gonna lie that is the truth i really find these moments where i'm walking harley or i'm just getting to sit outside look at providence and how beautiful it is it really reminds me that there's so much life to be lived while you're doing a phd and that sounds so intuitive but for some reason that's not the culture and so i really try to resist that and not just take large breaks but take small breaks to think about my life and think about how lucky I am to study what I love and do what I love. And so yeah, I ended up going to this new exhibit with my friend Neha and it was so fun. Like we got to see the art and I'm just constantly reminded of how talented people are. And I love that we get to do stuff like this at Brown. There's always new art exhibits and speakers. And that's something I want to do more this year is to go to more of these types of events. Uh -huh. 
dropping All in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your fan, yeah Something that makes me look at you too often Oh baby, you can give for something Baby, I can run all the time Okay, so it is officially Friday and I am very happy to finally be done with my week. I know, <laughs> actually let me not say that. I am happy. I had a great week. Um, I think it started off pretty rough, but we're here. We ended strong and now I'm just looking forward to enjoying the weekend. I love my last class that I had, which was my TA class, was a lot of great discussion and I'm really looking forward to actually teaching my first section in the next week, which I'll de definitely make sure to vlog. But yes, I am happy. But yes, I am very happy and I'm looking forward to this week.